when are banks going to be able to get back to being, you know, uh, companies that are run for a profit, owned by shareholders that get paid, specifically in dividends? When do you think that banks are going to be allowed to uh, pay dividends again across, say, Europe? Well, I think that that's something which is going to depend very much on on, uh, on what the economic situation in Europe is a few months from now. You know, in the United Kingdom, we are we have been also subject to a strong uh, recommendation by the uh, prudential authorities not to pay a dividend uh, so far. What I hope is that as the economic recovery gets entrenched, that there would be more flexibility and therefore that banks will be given the ability to uh, uh, pay dividends and also to initiate the share buybacks, which are another way of remunerating shareholders in a way which is consistent with their own uh, economic and financial situation, inducing a lot of prudence. So I think that prudence should continue to be the norm in dividend policy, but I think that um, uh, in a few months there should be more flexibility in terms of allowing banks to do things which are consistent with their own position. And on that front, what are shareholders saying about these restrictions, uh, Jose? Are they putting you under pressure? Are they putting regulators under pressure to allow you to pay dividends? Well, uh, shareholders don't like to, to have their dividends uh, and their buybacks uh, stopped. But I think that they, they, they need to understand that a few months ago there was sufficient uncertainty um, and, and even entropy that uh, capital conservation was important. But banks have conserved capital, and we have now capital ratios which are significantly higher than a few years ago, which are higher than last year, and we have significant buffers. And I think that subject to, as I said, prudence in terms of capital conservation, I think that banks can use some of this excess capital they have to remunerate shareholders, because otherwise banks are going to have uh, uh, you know, a very difficult task in convincing investors that they should come back to investing on banks if they cannot get any dividend out of it.